In the last 90 days, Christian has submitted 107 applications for about for north of $150,000 production. 107 applications that he has submitted into the insurance companies in 90 days. Now, I don't think you work every day, but even if you did, that's more than one application a day. Give us some logistics of that, you know, uh, kind of what you're, how you're setting your day up. Kind of what we want to hear. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that's what I want to know. guys happy friday uh it is friday at 11 o'clock this is the monthly uh ptp team kickoff kicking off the month of may um very 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 exciting time we're, we're kicking selling season off as we usually call it the next few months there is a lot of production that uh, usually happens statistically historically uh, we've got a great guest speaker on the call today which i'm very excited about before we get into all that, let's run through the numbers uh, from last month, okay? So this is everybody who has uh, issue paid a, a policy. We're going to be going through uncapped paid numbers. So uh, some, some other apps were in. They didn't get paid before the month ended, so that will roll over until next month. But this is just the money that got paid out, um, you know, and they got paid out their percentage of these numbers. Now, first, I just want to give a big kudos to everybody. Uh, guys, we as a team were seventh in the country for production. Um, we issued one hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars last month. So, you know, thanks everybody for your hard work. Um, and we'll kick it off with Mr. Jason Tyner. Uh, one app uh, paid out last month, buddy, five hundred forty-one dollars. Mr. Kyle Evans, who just uh, qualified um, yesterday, I think, or today. Uh, got his third policy issued last month. He paid out three thousand four hundred forty-seven dollars. Congrats, Kyle! Excited about you know what's happening in your business. Uh, Mike O'Shea uh, paid business four thousand five hundred dollars last month. Stephanie Owens four thousand nine hundred sixty-three dollars last month. Nice job, Stephanie. Uh, I came in uh, at nine thousand five hundred fifty-three dollars. Mr. Brad Schmidt. $12,300 in paid business last month. I know you've got a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline, my friend. Uh, clog, your pipeline looks clogged up. David Begley, same story, $16,038 before the month ended. Uh, we got George Ramel, $21,835. Nice month, George. But check this out, guys. George got beat by Kimberly Crosby. Kim, you are so consistent. Uh, we've been watching. I love what you're doing with with your business. It's it gets exciting when things start catching. So super proud of you. Twenty two thousand nine hundred and fifty three dollars last month. Kim, incredible job coming in right behind uh, Mr. Christian Pounder himself, a guest speaker on the call today. Uh, Thirty two thousand five hundred and ninety five dollars last month. There can only be one number one Christian, and you have been keeping that one locked down for a while, my friend. I'm going to go over some housekeeping notes, but real quick, I wanted to kick it over uh, like we always do to the retirement solutions team. Um, Brad, fill us in on a couple of things uh, that are happening. You know, what's going on with retirement solutions and the referral team, my friend? Well, thanks for having us on this morning. <clears throat> Say retirement solutions, it makes it sound like the old guys or something, but uh, no, we're young and we're coming in here going after these retirement deals. So just to kind of give you a heads up, uh, the number one thing that my daily mantra is outflow equals inflow equals cash flow, and it's all about activity. So for us, we've created tons of activity. Nate, as you know, we have about four seminars that we have booked for ourselves. We're doing one with a private school staff here in uh, South Carolina. We're going back to California, doing it for 25 uh, managers. And then we're going to turn around within two months and go speak to 80 of their employees with their spouses. Could be 160 people. We have another uh, seminar. So we're doing tons of these seminars on debt elimination, which also turns into retirement planning. And so we have a lot of activity coming. We've got some stuff in Tennessee. In terms of referrals, you know, Mike O'Shea is doing a heck of a job. He's teeing up about eight to 10 five-minute calls per week. He's got a mantra for that. He's just staying in rhythm. 
I'm turning around closing about two to four of those per week, just depending on a few tweaks he can do and his verbiage, which I could talk about if you guys want to get into details on that. You got Mr. Matt Miller, who's finally licensed, got everything in line. He's already got a handful of people that he wants to tee up and he's going to refer those in and we're going to take care of it. So we got a lot going on, guys, and we are, um, you know, a resource for everybody. We want you guys to turn to us, turn in your referrals, give us a phone call. I'm going to tee up a couple things in the notes for you guys to have some verbiage because everybody goes, eh, I'm not sure what to say or how do we pivot to that? And I'll give you some pointers and some things, but feel free to give me a call, give David a call. Um, as the way we are going, we're now getting these inbound requests. Will you come to our business and do seminars? Can you teach my staff? We are going to be scaling here beyond what two people can do. So I'm just saying, if you guys want to make more money and have us do that work for you, that's what we're here to do. But um, yeah, it's it's moving fast. And we're already coming into May. It's Cinco de Drinco. I mean, Cinco de Mayo for those. Um, so we're already going to be, I'm already planning out for seminars all the way through August, September. So we got work to do. Very good, man. Very exciting. Uh, very exciting stuff there. So those seminars are, are really starting to take off. Yeah. And guys, that's going to be something that you, you can take advantage of, you know, as we go, um, you know, as we start developing that part of the business and we'll roll more detail out uh, for you. But, you know, if you want to partner and, you know, uh, help fund one of those seminars, you know, with overhead and help fill a room for people, you know, these guys will come, we'll come in, we'll fly in uh, and do a seminar for you. And that's, that's some really big production that comes out of that. So that's pretty exciting. So uh, Brad, if you don't mind, pop your, uh, phone number in the chat too with the other stuff that you put in that way everybody uh, make sure they have brad's phone number in case you want to reach out to him and get more information about uh some of that stuff that uh, some ways you can take advantage of leveraging uh the team there so a couple housekeeping notes um and a couple dates for you you know we're we're a pretty tight-knit crew we like to leverage each other and um you know that's that's kind of what sets us apart i believe um May 30th. So we're going to be doing a debt-free for life seminar for the staff of a, a private school over there. They have two locations, but whenever we come to town, we're also going to be doing a business overview meeting. So this is a way for you to take, you know, to leverage that, uh, you know, with no investment to you, that gives you an opportunity to, you know, leverage the team while we're, while we're there, we're going to be breaking down uh, the business exactly how we do it. So take advantage of that whenever you know, we're going to be somewhere and uh, see, you know, who you know around Charleston, South Carolina, um, invite them to that meeting, and we're going to break down the business. We'll help you scale your agency and develop your agency, um, you know, meanwhile, you're two time zones over writing business, getting paid, getting paid deposits. We're talking to your people, training them, getting them going into business. So May 30th, Charleston, South Carolina, we'll be doing the same thing again in the Bay Area, um, you know, north of San Francisco, um, June 21st and June 22nd. So keep that in mind and be thinking about who you know in those areas. So Christian, I'm going to have you talk a little bit about this, but this is very exciting time of year. You know, other than the, that last quarter push, this is some where some of the biggest production happens. You know, people are getting out of school. Um, you know, you'll run into some of the, some of your appointments will roll over because they're they're going on family vacation and stuff but man people just for whatever reason uh may and june and july just like to buy insurance you know if you put the activity in you'll see uh you, you know you should see some pretty strong numbers coming out and speaking of strong numbers our guest speaker on the call i ran i was looking at some reports here and in the last 90 days christian has submitted 107 applications for about for north of $150,000 production 107 applications that he has submitted into the insurance companies in 90 days now I don't think you work every day but even if you did that's more than one application a day I don't know how you're juggling kids and taking care of everything and still you know pulling that off of what we want to hear i mean i don't know about you guys but that's what i want to know give us some logistics of that you know uh kind of what you're how you're setting your day up and you know help, help us kick off you know selling season some things that you've learned through this season you know in years past uh maybe some lessons that you've learned and and uh i'm just going to kind of kick it over to you my friend everybody yep, yep. mr christian pounder what's going on everybody good to be here uh Good to see everybody. Yeah, it's a good month. Uh, Brad, that was, man, I, I'm so excited about the Debt Free for Life 
it's ridiculous. I, uh, I actually joined their master referral class, um, just learning so much on uh, every Thursday, tuning into that. If you're interested in that, get with me or, or Brad or Nate or David, but, um, yeah, could be prouder of Kim, you know, guys, let me tell you about Kim. I, I talked to Kim, Kim, I don't even remember. It was definitely like over a year ago. Uh, and Kim was brand new to the industry. She lives in Florida and, uh, she just knew what she wanted and she just hasn't quit. And she's a prime example of somebody who's on track to have a breakout year next year. She'll probably earn $250,000. I just, I see how this business works. So I'm so proud of you, Kim. She's been referring cases to, to David and Brad. She just got a annuity rollover. So kudos on that. But, uh, as far as me, man, look, I'm doing my best. It's the busiest time I've ever had in my life. It's stressful. Like I'm the type of person I like to have the same schedule every single day. I like to eat the same thing at the same time. I mean, it's ridiculous. I just function better like that. And with and with this, you know, summers in, in daycare or school, or whatever they call it these days, child development center. And uh Bo's still here. So Bo is five months old and um can't believe he's five months. It's beautiful. It's just so busy. So I wake up every day and I only have, instead of 10 things that are important for me to do, uh, I really only have two things that I have to do. And that's really what I have time to do. So if anybody's ever or never watched Stephen Covey, the large rocks and the small rocks, I would suggest watching that. And this is a perfect example of how that works. So like what he, what he did was he called an audience up and he had all these rocks and he asked the volunteer to make all the rocks fit in this little glass jar. And this lady, she started with the small rocks and she dumped all the pebbles in there. And then as she went, she figured out at the end, she couldn't fit all the rocks in. But when she, when they started with the large rocks, all the pebbles and stuff fell around those rocks. And so that's really what I base what I'm doing right now on is the most important things are the large rocks. I have to do those first. I have to get those in first. I know I have to have my appointments, which means I got to make time to dial whenever that is. This is another stressful thing. Usually I, I'll, I'll dial the same time all the minute, dude, when I'm doing my schedule. But right now how life is, I can't. So sometimes I dial at 9, sometimes I dial at 10.15, sometimes I dial at 11.30. I hate it, but I have to do it. I just know if I get six appointments Monday through Thursday, every day, I don't have to worry about anything. So though that's a large rock for me. So I'm doing that before anything. I'm making sure I get my appointments because if I do that, no matter how stressful it is, I'm still gonna have a roof over my head. So that's the most important thing that I got to do. The second thing I'm doing is I'm doing my best to keep my mindset positive and keep my mind focused. Because it's very easy when life gets busy to neglect your mindset and then you start getting negative and then everything starts affecting you. Everything starts making you upset, <laughs> every little thing. So I'm doing my best to read every day, meditate every day, visualize, do my thing to keep myself sane. But that's really where I'm at, dude. I don't have much time to do anything else except when the kids go to sleep and that's late. So during the day, I just make it a priority. If I can get my appointments, I can dial and can do the money making activity. The first thing when I have time, everything else kind of falls behind and kind of falls in line. It's crazy that you don't have a set schedule. And I know I know how you are. And usually you, you do. And usually, you know, you would. Um, so I'm sure we're going to see that kind of unfold in the month of June. Um, but so so we've got a mix of people, Christian, on the call. Some people are you know, about to dial and make their first calls. You know, um, some people are, you know, they got that. You remember what it felt like, man. You you, you book your first appointments and you uh, drive to their house and you knock on the door and you hope they're not there, as crazy as that is, you know. I know. Um, and, and you know, so we've got a mix of people that are going to be going out, you know, seeing families uh, face to face, uh, which I know you are very well versed in. Um, and in fact, you're so good at that, you know, you're able to do everything completely virtually. We've got some people that, you know, are running, starting their business on a part-time basis. Uh, they've got to run more virtually, uh, right now. That's just the only option, which is why it's an incredible tool. You know, um, it's an incredible tool to be able to run appointments in different parts of the country, different time zones. I just started a lead order in, uh, the state of Washington, 
just for those nights where I want to keep, you know, popping some apps out and it's late here, you know, I can be time zones over, call it time traveling. So it's, it's an incredible tool. I know that's, you know, really the only way you have uh, <clears throat> to be able to even do this right now. Um, so can, can you give us some advice for the new person? Are they going to have to book more appointments? You think if they're going to be, if they're running virtual, um, do, do they need to text these leads or call these leads? Um, give, give us some advice on that, you know, as far as from the virtual platform. Sure. At the end of the day, your goal is experience and you get experience through sits. All right. And so here's how the numbers work with virtual. Just understand everything has a price to pay. So yes, the virtual, uh, the results are, okay, I get to work from home. I get to have more flexibility. I don't have to drive, but there's a price to pay for that. And I'll explain how that works. So with virtual, you're getting, your show rate is about 60% on average. So that means out of 10 people, four people are no showing you or they're rescheduling. Some came up, they forgot. Their phone isn't on them, anything. So it's different than than face to face. It's fifty five to sixty percent show rate. Okay. So let's say I book. Let's say you book thirty appointments in a week. That's eighteen sets. Okay. I I tra- I've been tracking my numbers for a long time. Eighteen sets. You're going to close half of those, conservatively. Okay. When you get better, it'll be more. But let's just be conservative. So you'll close half of those. Kim, I see you looking good. So close half of those. That's nine. That's nine apps. So if you set 30 appointments, you'll get 18 sets, nine applications. But to get 30 appointments, you got to do some work. You got to do some work on the phone. And so if you're doing older leads, that means you're, so you're probably dialing two to three hours on old leads to get those appointments a day because you need to run day to day, basically. So uh, I don't text at all. If you're brand new, you're not going to get any experience texting. That doesn't, the only way growth, and strength only comes through struggle and resistance. There's no resistance with texting. That's, you know, the fact that you showed up, that's great. But texting gives you no experience because you're not going through any adversity because you're not facing any, you know, potential of uh, struggle. So dialing that phone is going to build your skill set. And, and think about this. The skill set is what's the true value. <clears throat> money comes and money goes. Money's up and money's down. The value and the skill set you're building, those things are built into your character, and those things can never be taken away no matter what. So if all the money goes in the world, if you have the proper skill set, you can go back and get it again. So that's that's the goal. Like, So switch your mindset of like, what are you becoming on the process of what you're trying to get? Because that's going to be the most value. But you need to just know the numbers. And as far as virtual, just know that. If you want to do virtual, you're going to get a lower sit ratio. And the goal is experience, which comes through sits. So you're going to have to do more. If you understand the price, then that's fine, but just understand it. If you're doing it in the field, you're going to get a better sit ratio. So you don't have to do as much. But whatever it is you have to do to get the experience, that's what you have to do. And so know the price beforehand, be willing to pay it, and just execute. Very good. Very good. I know Kim was finish, finishing up an appointment and get this. Um, so I asked her, you know, I didn't want to put her on the spot, but I did ask her uh, if she would come on because I think that, you know, it would be great. I think people would rather hear from from her than from, you know, you or I anyways. So I'm looking at, I'm pulling up, Kim, uh, your numbers, uh, July. So you started with us, uh, you know, halfway towards the latter part of July, you know, started trying to learn how to make a phone call and, and, and go through the process. And, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I would like to ask you a little bit about that because a lot of people right now are embarking on that journey and it, it's, it's crazy now to see, you know, you, you sliding in right behind Christian, you know, over 20 grand uh, this past month and the consistency that is happening in your business and you've just really taken control of things and watching your business grow. I mean, that's one of my favorite things uh, about this. And I'm just honored to, to be able to have a, have a, a, a seat for that and watch you guys grow your business and develop. Uh, one thing I wanted to say about Kim, I asked him last night, I said, Hey, you know, I would love to have you on the call for a few minutes. 
um, if if you're available. I know it's kind of uh, last second. And she says, most people tell me, well, I've, I've got an appointment if they're, you know, uh, if they don't show up or, you know, if they know show me, I can get on right away or whatever. Kim's response was, okay, I'll be on after I finish writing the husband and the wife. <laughs> she said, after I finish writing both of them. I said, I love that. I love that. I hope you finish up in time to get on. So, uh, Kim, thanks for hopping on. Uh, thanks for letting me put you on the spot a little bit here. Uh, I'm, we're just super proud of you. We've been talking about you a lot. Um, you know, looking, I'm looking at the progression and I'm looking at your numbers right now. Started in July last year. Um, how about we do this? W what do you think is what do you think if you could if you could boil it down to to kind of one thing that uh, has started happening for you that your results are so much different? One thing, what do you think it is, Kim? Um, happy Friday, everyone. You know, I I just think I don't think there I don't think there's one thing. I think it's just as I'm learning stuff, just I've been chip, chip, chipping away, chip, chip, chipping away. There's an old cartoon of the tortoise and the hare that was made like in the 30s. And to me, I am the tortoise. <laughs> you know, he's very slow and he's just slowly trudging, you know, trudging along. And then that hare is like fancy and the speed racer and woo, he's, he's just going. But the one who ends up winning the race is that slow steady chip chip chipping away tortoise so yeah. i've just been you know using everything i've been taught and i'm and i'm continuing to learn day by day hour by hour <laughs> i was about to say yeah, as, as far as i remember uh the tortoise does win that race so you know it, it it's it's what christian said a minute ago it's the skill set and like I remember starting and running all these appointments and, and not getting any results. Right. And I was thinking, man, I'm doing all this work and all these other people are making all this money and getting paid and I'm not getting paid anything. But now in hindsight, and maybe you would agree with this, all of those situations and all of those experiences, little did I know at the time were, it was like getting deposited kind of into like a retirement account that builds compound interest. You know, once all those experiences, you know, start start to grow, it turns into an asset and it turns into an asset in this business that, you know, pays you daily uh, deposits from the insurance companies uh, when you're as consistent as Kim is. Um, so, so what can you say, you know, to the new person that's starting to dial, you know, what were, what were some struggles you faced early on? Uh, or some things that you had you had a hard time with uh, how you how you got through those because I think that's okay so some some tips that um, Christian gave me when dialing and I say not just tips I used to listen to him dial that was huge but some things that stuck in my mind were when I called don't act all excited I'm a very enthusiastic naturally enthusiastic upbeat person so that tip about acting like, you know, I'm an AC guy, setting the appointment for the broken air conditioner. So that is, to this day, I still say to myself, okay, Kim, your voice is getting a little too excited. Be, tone it down, tone it down, you know? So it, for, this, for this business, that really works. And well, I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, the most important thing is, is activity, activity, activity. Um, just making the phone calls and, you know, if I just keep getting better, I think by just doing. Unfortunately, that's the only way to, you know, build that, you know, to develop that skill set. And that, that's hard to wrap your mind around at first. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a huge tip. It kind of goes against, if you've had any other sales training, you know, our phone calls kind of go against that because we're, we're separating ourselves from, you know, a salesperson or a telemarketer or something because I mean, what we do is very important. You know, I mean, you're you're one of the most important people these people are going to talk to. Um, I recently got reminded of that last Tuesday. I'm working on my 23rd death claim that I know of. You know, um, and this one hit pretty home because you know I've been working with this client and his son. You know, 
for for years wrote them in 2016 i've i've serviced them for a long time and i've rewritten them policies and upgraded their policies and stuff and had a pretty good relationship with them so I love our, I love our business. You know, I love what I do. I love getting to meet people, but that, you know, it, it's not my favorite part. And, but it's a good reminder of, you know, how important what we do, you know, truly is for people. Um, so, you know, whenever that happens, everything kind of changes, you know, in your business and it, it, it becomes less mundane. You know, it's easy to get stuck in, you know, doing the same thing every day. Uh, and forget how just how important what we do for people is i'm excited to see what you what you do the next couple months um thanks for hopping on for a minute uh love hearing from you uh christian man isn't that exciting i mean i remember i remember when kim started dude uh that's that's one of my favorite parts is just watching watching that development happen you know what are you what are you focused on you know the next uh these next couple months um how are you going to take take advantage of the season that we're that we're going into well i'll tell you what i heard barry clarkson say years ago when i first started in this business he goes in order to be successful you have to place yourself in a position to be successful before the success come so really 80 percent, 90 percent of this deal is just showing up if you just show up and just stand at that door every day eventually somebody's going to open the door and when it opens you want to be there Okay, you'd rather be there and be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than have one and not be prepared for it. So most of this is just showing up, like Kim said, just showing up every day. That's the best thing you can do. It's not success is not this big, uh, this like this one big thing that happens in your life and then you're successful. That's not how it works. It's it's a combination and a compounding of your daily activities. And it, and it happens over time like a snowball. A snowball doesn't start out as a snowball. It starts out as nothing on the top of the hill. And then it takes a while to get enough weight to compound. And by the end, it's an accumulation of all those things. So it's the same thing in this business. If you just show up consistently, you're going to put yourself in a position to be successful. And it's going to come to you. But consistency. Kim is consistent. I'm, I, I love what she said. It doesn't matter if Kim has a bad week. She goes and does the same activity next week. If she has a good week, she goes and does the same activity the next week. It doesn't matter. So May, these months are good. Tax season comes. People feel better about their finances. They get those three, two, three, four thousand dollar checks, depending on how many kids you got, maybe more than that. And they're okay. They feel okay about uh, you know, putting more money out a month. So it is big. I don't know if that's the reason, but it's gotta be one of them. So just be consistent. Like, just show up. Like, have a plan. I forgot to ask him something a second ago. I was curious, and I'm sure a lot of other people are, because a lot of people are trying to get, you know, to have that first, you know, $15,000 uh, issue paid month, much less twenty or $23,000. Um, and I wanted to ask you about leads and your lead strategy. Are you on a standing lead order for A leads? Are you buying them off the map? Are you working a mix of leads? What kind of leads are you are you working? Standing lead order A leads. So you are working all A leads now. I am. How, how long have you been on a A lead flow? I started. I started from the beginning with A leads because I was trying to copy Christian because Christian was successful. So I've been a copycat trying to copy him, and he did A leads. So there you go. I think you just said. A, I think you just said a whole lot right there. Um, that is actually a, the strategy that's the strategy uh of this entire business all right uh cinco de mayo guys happy cinco de mayo go get you some tacos and margaritas or whatever it is that you like um uh, and let's just we'll win we'll win the call with that kim hey everybody just copy christian right um buddy give us some closing thoughts um and let's wrap this thing up know what you want no, first, get clear on what you want, period. Once you know that, the result you want, and then you can formulate a plan in order to obtain it. And then what you have to do is execute. The plan you start with will never be the plan you finish with. Make adjustments. But if you know where you're going, you're going to be able to get back on track in order to get you there, okay? So know what you want, form your plan, and execute, and be consistent. If you're just consistent, 
and persevere and be persistent. I mean, water literally breaks down rock over years from just from showing up every day. <laughs> that's all it does. So that's all you got to do, man. You know, get excited about life. Get excited about your future. Get excited about paying your debt off. Get excited about helping other people. You know, get excited about uh, making a difference and get excited about changing your life and yourself and being in a different spot a year from now. Um, so that's all I got, buddy. I appreciate it. Well, everybody will be okay. Just copy Christian. So if you have any uh, questions or you want to talk lead strategy or help uh, look at looking at data, what market should you target, um, you know, agency development, have anybody you thinking about bringing on, hey, leverage us for all of this. This is what we're here for. We want to help you grow. We want to see your name up there with 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 Kim uh, and Christian and George. Man, guys, you are all incredible. Um, I love who we are. I love where we are. And I'm real excited about where we're headed. So thank everybody for coming. I'll see you on the leaderboard, my friend. Your success is your success. I want you to own that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't ever let anybody tell you what your goal should be. You have to know yourself. And when you get to know yourself, you'll find out what makes you tick. And when you find out what makes you tick, you know what goals to set. And when you do that, you'll have the sufficient desire power to impel action to achieve it. <laughs>